Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you're already a subscriber of mine, this video probably seems super random. It's not really part of my niche at all. So feel free to skip this video and not watch it. If you came across this video because you're struggling with acne or you wanna research Accutane, thank you for being here. My name is Lachlan, I'm 26. I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I make a lot of content about intentional living, productivity, personal finance, that kind of thing. So like I said, this video is kind of out of my out of my niche. But nonetheless, I'm happy you're here and I want to tell you a little bit about my journey being on Accutane. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely not a doctor, not an expert, but I'm just a normal girl that, you know, struggled with my skin. I was on Accutane two different times. I was on it the first time when I was 13 and the second time when I was 17. Like I said, I'm 26 now, so this was a while ago, but um, I think that Accutane is still a very popular medication, so I figured I would just add my two cents. So as always, I will have the video chapters or sections in the little bar on the bottom of the video, but I wanna talk about why I decided to go on Accutane the first time when I was 13, the second time when I was 17, I'm gonna be talking about my doctor and the dosage that I was on, my experience, um, the side effects that I had, the products I used, my skin now, and then just like overall what I recommend Accutane. So like I said, I was on Accutane two different times. The first time I was 13, which I was told by my doctor was like extremely young to be going on this medication. It's a very harsh medication to be on. I started getting acne at a really young age. I think my first pimples started popping up when I was in the sixth grade. So I was about 11 at that time. And by the time I was 13, I had full blown acne. I think at the time I was extremely insecure. I don't have a lot of photos from that time, but I'll try to include what I can find just so you can visually see what I was working with. But I suffered from really deep, painful pimples. So yeah, at the time when I was 13, I think I just, I had no confidence. I think 13 is already a really hard age for a lot of girls. I mean, like, you know, your body is changing. I was really going through it at school. I was getting bullied. It's just in general, a hard age, I feel like, for most girls. I had absolutely no confidence whatsoever. I think part of that was just, you know, like due to the bad experience I was having in school, but my skin played a huge, huge role in that. And to be honest, I was desperate. I was willing to try anything to get rid of my acne. And that's how the journey started. For me, nothing worked. And I know people say in their videos that like, you know, they tried every product and nothing worked. I am not exaggerating. I tried everything that I could and nothing worked. I tried every over-the-counter product. I had so many different creams and ointments and things prescribed to me by doctors that didn't work. I think before I went on Accutane, I was prescribed two different acne medications. I can't remember the name, the names of them off the top of my head. I was trying all of these things and just nothing would clear up my skin. It honestly makes me sad like thinking back um, to this time in my life. I kind of just want to like give younger me a hug and tell her that everything's gonna be okay But I remember my skin was so bad that I would like put on a full face of makeup at night because I didn't even want my parents To see my skin and how bad it was like that's how insecure I was about my appearance. So if you're somebody who struggles with bad skin, especially if you're young, just know like I see you I hear you I I empathize with you. It's a really, really hard thing to go through. I just wish looking back on it that somebody would have like validated my feelings because it's such a hard thing to go through. So just know if you're watching this and it's something that you're struggling with, your feelings are completely valid and I have a lot of sympathy. People, girls and boys, um, I don't even know which one was more damaging at the time, but they would all comment on my skin consistently and really bully me for it. People used to say that I like didn't shower and it got to the point where my skin was so bad that I was just like lying about it constantly saying like, oh, like it's not even acne, it's just an allergic reaction. The second time I went on it, it was a little bit easier for me. I was 17 and basically because I went on it the first time at such a young age, it came back just like my doctor warned me it would. So I was expecting it. I honestly feel like I was lucky to get that four year break in between 
but I did go back on it a second time at 17. I want to note also that my acne did start to come back when I was in my really early 20s, like 2021, 20, around there, but it definitely wasn't bad enough to affect me the way that it did the first and second time when I was on Accutane. At that point, like I was already in a relationship. I was feeling like a lot more confident in myself um, and it wasn't something that I felt like I needed to go back on Accutane for. I'll talk a little bit about, you know, the state of my skin now at 26, but um, before I get into that, I wanna talk about the doctor and the dosage, all of that kind of stuff. It was really, really, really hard for me to not only convince my parents, specifically my dad, um, but also find a doctor that would prescribe me this medication because I was so young. Basically, I went to three different doctors and the first two told me that Accutane is meant for people who are in their early 20s. Um, and they did say that the earliest they would prescribe it to people was 16. And you pretty much have to exhaust all efforts first. You have to try every cream and, um, you know, like other little prescription pills and stuff like that before they would put you on Accutane. I remember one of the first doctors told me that she basically refused because Accutane is what they would call a big gun and she didn't feel comfortable prescribing it to me, especially at such a young age. So the first two doctors that I saw were family physicians in Calgary. The first one was the one that said, hard no, like Accutane's a big gun, we're not gonna prescribe that. Um, and then the second one again said, you know, I'm not comfortable prescribing that, but I'll refer you to a dermatologist. And that was truly best case scenario for me. I remember even being that young, like I was so relieved just at the chance, the glimmer of hope in the future that like a dermatologist would prescribe this prescription to me. So I am looking at my laptop just because there's a lot of notes that I have and I really don't want to miss anything. But basically if you've done any research about the drug Accutane, you know that it's a harsh drug and there's a lot of risks that come along with it. So one of the biggest things is while you're on this medication, you, at least my doctor really emphasized to me, you cannot get pregnant because um, the medication can cause really severe birth defects. You have to keep in mind that at this point, this was over 10 years ago for me. So my memory is a little bit blurry, but from what I remember, the dermatologist did explain to me that if I were somehow to get pregnant while on this pill, I would need to terminate the pregnancy. I was told in most cases, they require anyone on Accutane to be on two different forms of birth control. Because I was so young, they made an exception for me. I remember my parents had to sign like all this paperwork and stuff, basically like exempting me from having to be on different forms of birth control um, because I was so young. I feel like my parents and I, we had a good relationship and we were open about these things. They knew that I wasn't sexually active, so they were willing to you know, sign the paperwork saying that I didn't need to be on the birth control and still get prescribed Accutane. Basically, they just really don't wanna take a chance and they did make me do monthly blood tests. So once I was on the pill every month, I'd have to literally go to a lab and get my blood drawn and they were testing for a few different things, but I specifically remember they were testing for like my liver enzymes or something like that to make sure my liver was still functioning and wasn't being damaged by this medication but then also for pregnancy. So every month, even at like 13, I was essentially getting tested for pregnancy. So that's what happened at 13 and pretty much the same thing happened at 17 too. It was just like another situation where um, I had a conversation with my doctor and my parents, like I said, we had good communication. I wasn't sexually active then, so they were willing to sign for me again, I guess, to go on the medication a second time. This is future me popping in here because after I finished editing this video, I got my boyfriend to watch it before I uploaded and he pointed out that I missed answering a few major questions and talking about a few major points. So one part that I think I skimmed over in the video that's actually really important is how Accutane actually worked for me. The first time I was on it, I was on it for about a year. I still was breaking out once I came off of Accutane, but it was completely manageable. And it was a full night and day difference compared to where I was at before I started the prescription. I would say once I came off of it the second time and everything started to settle, probably from ages like 18 to 20, my skin was completely clear. I had absolutely no issues. At that point, I wasn't thinking about needing any sort of like 
anti-aging treatments or like wrinkle prevention. I feel like I was really just enjoying how great my skin looked compared to what had been in the past. And then around like 2021, I started breaking out a little bit again, but I never went back on Accutane after that. Um, the breakouts that I was getting, they weren't really bad enough for me to want to go back on Accutane again. The second thing that I kind of missed talking about um, was the actual dosage that I was on. The first time I was on it, my doctor wanted to be really cautious um, with their approach. So I started off on a really small dose of 10 milligrams and then they increased it by about 10 milligrams every single month. And I believe that the highest dosage that I got up to the first time I was on Accutane was 60 milligrams. I really don't know this for a fact. This is just going off my memory, so I definitely could be wrong. The second time I was on it, we took a little bit more of an aggressive approach. Again, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I started off at 40 milligrams and then again, um, increased it by about 10 milligrams a month until I hit, I think, 80 milligrams. It might've been 60, but I think it was 80. So my doctor, I think did a really good job, I guess, giving me the correct dosages that worked for me. And my skin really cleared up each time, really improved. So yeah, I hope that answers any dosage questions. So moving on to side effects, one of the most common side effects is just super dry skin all over. I definitely was no exception. I suffered from that. I remember just the really dry, cracked skin everywhere. I specifically remember my lips would get so dry and the skin would just like crack back like onto my cheeks. I think if we lived in like maybe a slightly more humid climate, my dryness wouldn't have been quite as bad, but it was awful. Another thing that you need to be cautious about is increased skin sensitivity. So you can get really, really bad sunburns. You have to be really cautious about wearing sunscreen. Like I said, I live in Alberta, so we're pretty like covered up most of the year but i do remember getting some really bad sunburns over like summer months you're also absolutely not allowed to do any hair removal like laser hair removal or waxing i had some other just like really random and weird side effects for example i got really horrible rashes on the back of my hands it was like the super dry skin but then also like a rash on top of it i don't have any pictures or at least i haven't seen any um but i just remember it was so painful and every time I washed my hands, it would get so much worse. So I had to switch like basically every product I was using, which I'll kind of get into, but um, even like the hand soap and stuff because everything was just like drying up my skin and making it so much worse. This is another weird one, but the first time I went on Accutane, um, I started getting really bad back pain. And I mean, like, I feel like 13 is too young to be getting chronic back pain, but I had it and it stayed with me. I've talked to doctors since then who, you know, have told me like, it's gotta be unrelated. Like Accutane doesn't cause back pain, but I've seen on random like Reddit threads and stuff like that, that it does. So I don't know. I swear like that's when it started though, was when I went on Accutane. So I don't know if that is what caused it, but something caused my back pain. I'm pretty sure it was the Accutane. One kind of more fun side effect though that I wanna mention is I had at the time the best hair. So basically, if you don't know, this at least is how it was explained to me, but Accutane works by basically being like a really high dose of vitamin A and it poisons your oil glands to the point where they stop producing oil and that's why your skin stops breaking out but it's not only on your face that your body stops producing oil, it's everywhere and your, your whole body gets really dry, like I mentioned, but also your hair. So my scalp at the time literally just stopped producing oil and I remember I could literally go over a week without washing my hair and it looked so good, both times, even when I was really young and when I was 17, so I was really into that. So if you go on Accutane, maybe that's something you can look forward to. So you'll probably have really great hair and not have to wash it very often. Moving on to some products that I used. Basically, I used really basic cleansers. I remember sticking with the basics using a lot of Cetaphil, Cetaphil, I don't know how to say it. Um, I used their cleanser, CeraVe, Cerave, again, I don't know how to say it, but just like really basic drugstore cleansers. There was also a gel cleanser from Bioderma that I used. Um, that was a little bit more expensive, but I was a big fan of that. For moisturizer, you really just want to find like the thickest, best moisturizer you can find. Um, I used the Cetaphil thick moisturizing cream. It comes in like a big tub. I used that everywhere all over my face. I feel like I was doing the glazed donut thing before the glazed donut thing was a thing. Vaseline and Aquaphor. I 
always had those products with me. Um, my lips were always slathered in either Vaseline or Aquaphor. Had it in my car. I literally would not leave the house without it. It was essential. Another moisturizer that I used was the Aveeno. It's like the Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen. Super random, but I just remember I really liked it at the time and they do still sell it today. For sunscreen, I used um, La Roche-Posay. I still use it to this day. Um, they have like a tinted one that I really like but um, it treated my skin really well and I liked how it had a little bit of coverage so I wouldn't have to wear as much makeup. Like I mentioned, I got those really bad rashes on my hands so I had to switch out all my hand soap and I would have to take hand soap with me everywhere because I couldn't use the hand soap that was just like in bathrooms in public places. So I remember the hand soap that I used at the time was by Rocky Mountain Soap Company. I think that it's like a local Alberta brand, um, but they have just like some really gentle ones. But really any sort of like natural hand soap um, is probably a better option. So moving on to my skin now, I would say in general, I have pretty clear skin. I feel very fortunate. And generally speaking, it stays pretty clear. I don't really get a ton of like cystic pimples, not really at all like I used to but I do get the odd super painful zit and I find that I really only get them like on my lip line, but um, they're really bad. They are very painful. I'd say probably the biggest um, like aesthetic issue I guess with my skin now is I still have a lot of scarring. So even though I don't have any active acne, I don't know if you'll be able to see right now. I'm also wearing a lot of makeup and have some pretty good lighting, but I have a ton of scarring on my cheeks on both sides. Okay, so I just wanna insert this clip to show you what my skin looks like. I have no makeup on right now other than some um, Laneige lip mask and I just have my camera in front of a big window with natural lighting so you can really see. Basically, I hope the camera picks it up, but the biggest problem I feel like I have with my skin is just texture, mostly from the acne scars caused by the acne that I had in the past, but you can hopefully see I have it on both cheeks and i find you can really see it depending on how the light hits it like i mentioned in the video i don't really have um active acne anymore but i definitely have some little bumps and i do get like zits along my lip line i have enlarged pores basically i just i don't have perfect skin and yeah this is what it looks like i started having camera issues when i was filming this the first time so i just want to um, film a little bit of an outro to this video and talk about overall what I recommend Accutane. My answer is yes. I had a really great experience and it cleared up my skin. And then because of that, I feel like I got a lot more confident and my overall quality of life really improved. Since I had a really positive experience with Accutane and it worked so well for me, I mean, I'm not a parent yet, but I think that if I had a teen or preteen struggling with their skin, I would definitely really consider letting them go on Accutane after consulting with the doctor. Again, I'm definitely not in a position to be giving parenting advice, but I would say if you have a teenager um, that wants to go on Accutane, I would just say really strongly consider it after consulting with the physician. If you think it's um, a good fit for your kid, then don't let just your fear of maybe like the side effects or um, what you've heard about the drug, I guess, hold you back. I'm really hoping that in this video I provided um, a lot of good information, but if I did miss anything and you have any questions, please leave me a comment. I will definitely get back to you. Or you can reach out to me on one of my other social media platforms, or you can email me. I always have my email listed in the description, but that's all I have for today's video and I will talk to you next time.